Hey guys, Tim here with Red Wing RC, and today I'm here to talk to you about servos, specifically brushless servos. Uh, right now we have about eight in our lineup as of September of 2014. Um, we have six here that I'm showing you today, and we'll probably have more as time goes on because this technology is uh, just kind of on, on the verge right now. So, um, but I wanted to kind of go over brushless servos and why they're so great. So basically, brushless servos are very power efficient. Um, they're unique in the way that they function compared to uh, traditional servos. Traditional servos use brushed motors and commutators to basically power uh, the motors. And these new brushless servos use, use circuit boards. Uh, and what they do is they, they kind of throttle the power as needed. So if, if more resistance is needed, uh, or if more resistance is given, then they, they offer more power. But if it's not, they don't. So they don't waste energy. Uh, whereas traditionally, a servo was just going at full speed, whether there was a heavy load on it or no load at all. Uh, so that does a couple things. One, it helps the servo to operate cooler and last longer. Uh, two, it consumes less power throughout your flight. Three, it, it puts um, less of an amp draw on your power system and your batteries. And, uh, and beyond that, it has an aesthetic quality in your flight too. What you're going to notice with these is that they're very clean, very precise feeling. And uh, part of that is the reason that I just explained is that whether you're in a, a full speed downline or in a very slow roll, they are going to be very consistent in how they respond in terms of the speed and the position of the surface. You're going to get a very similar feeling or a identical feeling no matter what the resistance against the the surface is. So if you're in a full speed downline servo and you put it, you know, uh, a, uh, one of your surfaces at, at half uh, movement, then it's going to respond and go right there immediately in the same amount of time that would even if you were going very slow or in a Harrier and, and use that same type of movement, that same percentage. So your controls are going to feel the same in your hand, uh, whether you're doing high speed maneuvers or slow maneuvers. So that's really going to affect how clean your flight looks and the precision of your flight. So especially guys that are doing precision and iMac type of stuff, but also 3D guys, if you're doing, you know, you're going to feel more connected to the servos, to the plane. Because of this, what you'll notice as soon as you turn on the servos uh, is that they're very clean. They, they don't have, they don't make a lot of noise. Uh, they, they feel stronger, smoother, cleaner, and it's just a much more efficient system. Uh, you know, in this day and age, you're not probably going to put a brush motor on most of the planes you fly. So it's, it's kind of outdated technology and they're putting this newer technology into these tiny servos. Uh, another thing that, that it does offer is that because of the way it throttles the power, um, it, uh, it doesn't wear down over time. A traditional servo, if you put a heavy load on it, uh, gets hotter and hotter, the amp draw you know, gets higher, and the servo starts to wear down and lose that holding power. A brush, uh, brushless servo is going to have less sag, it's going to have more holding power uh, over the, the full extent of your flight or a extended uh, period of resistance against that surface. So all in all, just superior servos. So the six brushless servos that I have here that I'm uh, highlighting in this video, I chose because they offer a, a good range. I've got the Hitex, um, the 9360, the 9370, and the 9380, and then we have the Storm 3, 4, and 5. And a couple interesting things, the Hitex have what they call a pad, um, a power absorbing device. And what that is, is with the Hitex servos, they actually in that power that they save, um, that they don't utilize, they'll actually return it back to the power system. And there are devices that won't be able to take that voltage, such as regulators or you know things in line that won't be able to accept voltage back in. So they offer that option in case you do have some of those items. Uh, you can plug it into the receiver or uh, wire it off from the servo and, and absorb it that way. Um, another interesting thing, the high techs have gone with the 25T gear so this is a standard futaba spline actually and uh, so if you do get these high-tech brushless servos 
do not get high-tech servo arms. You're actually going to want to get uh, Power HD or uh, Futaba uh, compatible arms. Now on this side, I've got the Power HD servos, the three, four, and five, and it actually kind of goes backwards from three is the strongest and slowest servo, four is the middle, and five is the fastest. And, uh, and weakest of the servos. So five is really gonna be a high speed helicopter type of servo. Uh, four is gonna be a good 30 cc, even 50 cc servo. And the three is gonna be a good 50 or 100 cc. Um, same thing with, with these, actually these go uh, in, in a more intuitive manner. The 9360 is the weakest and fastest. The 9370 is the middle and middle speed. And then the 9380 is the strongest but the slowest. Um, Another interesting thing, high tech uh, advertises the same torque rating, whether it's six volts or 7.4, and the Power HDs advertise a slightly higher uh, torque rating if you do go with 7.4. I talked to high tech; it sounds like something in the the way they programmed it. Um, a, a lot of the way that, that these servos work is is more in the way the chip is managed. So. Um, something they've done, and I'm not really sure exactly what, but we will see in our tests if that holds true, if, if a 6 volt and a 7.4 volt source do offer the same torque or not. So again, keep, keep your eye out for those videos. We've done some initial testing with all of these servos, nothing too official yet, and we found very, very clean power, uh, beautiful centering, everything about these servos just feels top-notch and, and high quality and that's that's what you're going to notice they both have fully aluminum housings uh, very very pretty servos the high techs have aluminum housings as well um, the the sides are kind of hollowed out as a, kind of a cooling mechanism one thing I did notice is that uh, the high techs seem to be closer to their torque rating than the power HDs uh, but the high techs did get warmer on kind of some of the initial testing. So we'll see how that holds up as well if, if the Power HDs start to get warm when they're pushed a little further as well. Well, I hope this has given you some, some good basic information on brushless servos and why you may consider them in your application. Um, I can tell you I'm going to be putting them in a lot of my new prototype planes, especially the 100cc that we have coming in. Um, and we've got very competitive pricing on the high tech servos. So uh, get to redwingrc.com. I don't think you're going to find a better price on them. Um, and thank you guys again for watching.